Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. I'm Dustin and on this channel we talk about things from vlogging all the way to tech reviews. Uh, in today's video we're going to be talking in particular about this Canon EOS M50. This right here has been my go-to camera for the longest time. I actually switched from the Canon 70D and the T6i and all my other cameras to this one directly as my main uh, point and shoot run and go shooter. This thing has really done me amazing work and such a small compact body. If you put the little compact lens on here you can literally fit this thing in your pocket by just compacting it down and if you wanted to you can kit it out to be a, a massively nice videography tool. In today's video we're definitely going to be talking about uh, the main thing I am very happy about picking up for this and that is the Viltrox EOS M2 adapter. Uh, this is an adapter that is also a speed booster which adapts EF lenses to the EOS M body. Uh, this one in particular uh, has the ability to control autofocus as well and has pretty much anything you need for the Canon EOS M50 to be a robust uh, photography and videography machine. Now I know a lot of you have probably seen my other videos about this Canon EOS M50 and a lot of those are in regards to a different adapter without the speed booster. Today we're going to be talking about the speed booster adapter which only allows the Canon EF lenses. This does not allow EFS lenses without modification. If you want to use EFS lenses you're definitely going to have to solve those bottom pieces off and I would not recommend it unless you know what you're doing or know somebody that knows how to swap those adapters out themselves. So I actually picked this Canon EOS M50 for up for about 600 bucks. The adapter itself, it'll run you about another 150 bucks and that'll give you uh, a pretty nice little setup where you can adapt all your EF lenses which is pretty much all the lenses that are out there on the market for Canon cameras and you can adapt it to this camera uh, pretty easily. Those are the professional L lenses, the uh, 50 millimeter lens like I have here which is a magnificent super budget friendly lens. You can find knockoffs of these lenses for about 50 bucks a piece and uh, they look and and really shoot amazing quality video and pictures. The main significance of this adapter and what it actually does for this camera is it turns this little crop sensor which is super tiny and it magnifies it to about a full frame standard which is amazing considering this little tiny body is able to shoot full frame in 4K uh, without autofocus I might add with amazing quality. Uh, I've used this thing many times. I actually shoot all my videos in manual now that I've been using the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 4K. So that hasn't been an option. And using this guy uh, for fishing trips, for pictures, for road trips, for anything where I need something compact that's not going to be bulky like my Blackmagic Cinema 4K that I can just throw in the bag and just let it sit and pick it out if I need to. It works amazing. Uh, by having the SM50, it's just so tiny you're able to add this little microphone to it and uh, I really really enjoy it. So to understand what exactly this adapter does as a speed booster itself, it has a big difference in the way that it adapts light. Uh, so if you look here, this is the just regular um, EF-M to EFS adapter which will work for EFS lenses uh, and this right here is the Viltrox uh, EF adapter to EOS M body. Uh, basically what this does is it takes a full frame lens uh, which is something you'll see with this 50 millimeter, uh, any L glass you have and it will magnify it in a way to where it can project more light onto the actual sensor so it's able to pull more light in and in essence give it a full frame lens uh, capture of video or photography. You're able to get the full frame lens effect on a, an APS-C uh, crop sensor. In my opinion that's just huge. You're able to get a lot more quality and versatility with such a small camera at such a small price of $600. So I would highly recommend it if you have one of these or if you're considering getting the EOS M50 to pick one of these guys up and try it on your EOS M50. It, you will not be disappointed. It works amazing. Viltrox themselves, uh, in my opinion, they've never really had any issues with any of my cameras. I actually use the Viltrox uh, Speed Booster on my EOS, on, on my Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 4K as well and I've never had issues with them. I would highly recommend them at any point in time. There are some people that do disagree with that but unless I see anything on my effect I will not uh, speak against them. So yeah I definitely highly recommend this Viltrox EOS M to EF adapter. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the same lens uh, which is the 50 millimeter uh, with the Viltrox adapter and do a couple of video shots and then I'm going to switch it out and do a couple of video shots with this non with this no speed booster adapter and just show you guys the difference in video and uh, the overall crop factor on what you get and what you don't get with each adapter. Alright, so we'll do that right now in this video.
uh, definitely check it out. I'll put a link in the description below. That's my small video for today. I just wanted to show off this cool little adapter that I picked up. And I'll do my best to post more pictures and videos in the next video. All right, guys. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Thank you.